Have you ever wondered what is the easiest way to block a full list of IP addresses in a text file format using a FortiGate firewall? This is made possible using the FortiGate thread feeds feature that allow you to add text-based IP list or domain list to use within the firewall policy or the DNS filter. All the FortiGate needs is that the file has to be hosted on a web server. So in this case, I have an IB blacklist that is used to protect internet facing servers. We're gonna take an example of this video of our web DMZ, and we're gonna assume that we have an access open from the internet to a web DMZ, where we are hosting a bunch of web servers that are exposed to the internet on port 80 and 443 for internet access. You did your best to try to configure intrusion prevention, antivirus, and web application firewall. But we can also find a way to expand this using IB blacklist like this one. And we are trying to block this whole list of IB addresses before it hit the web server as well. So in this case, we are maximizing the protection to our DMZ or our internet facing servers. We just need to take the URL of the text file and we're gonna create a new policy to protect this web DMZ from any of these IP addresses. So I'm gonna create a new policy. I'm gonna call this policy protect DMZ with thread feeds, and this policy will protect us from the incoming online traffic. We wanna protect our internet facing servers from all malicious traffic or bad traffic coming on the WAN interface from any of those IP addresses in our block list. For the outgoing interface, we can define the interface which contains the web servers or front ending the web servers. So in this case, it's our LAN environment. Now for the source address, this is where we define which IP addresses we are trying to block. So in this case, we're gonna need to create a new thread feed. As you see, there is an IP address thread feed and there's also a version for IPv6. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this Great feed, which is opening the external connector, fabric connector. So I'm just gonna call it blacklist for DMZ and I'm gonna provide the URL for the file. In this case, it's hosted locally. It can be any public domain as well. And if you need any authentication for the web service to get to this file, you can enter it here. But this one is available without authentication. So I'm just gonna turn off this feature. And this one also going to refresh every five minutes to make sure it's getting the new data. If you are not frequently updating it, you can simply increase this to lower the number of requests. I'm just going to change it to one hour. I'm going to click OK. Now, because there has been a mix inside the file between IPv4 and IPv6, the firewall already generated two different lists containing IPv4 and IPv6 separately. In this case, I'm just gonna choose the IPv4 variant because our servers are running IPv4. For the destination, I'm just gonna choose the servers that I'm trying to protect. In this case, I'm trying to protect my web DMZ. I'm gonna choose the object for my web DMZ. I'm gonna deny all services from those IPs since they are known to be blacklisted. And we're gonna choose the deny action. We're also gonna log this traffic so we know which IP addresses are trying to hit on our servers and also know if this policy has been effective. And we're gonna click OK. Now our policy has been created, but it's all the way in the bottom. And if you notice this going below the allow policy, this means this policy will never take effect unless we change or reorder this policy to take effect. So we're gonna move it all the way above the allow policy. In this case, the deny would come before the accept or any traffic coming from those blacklisted IPs. We can see in here, the system had bars out the text file and if we click view entries, we can see the same IP addresses or networks that were listed in the file. And the format has to match this one, just one IP or one network per line. But in this case, we are adding all these services to our block list with just one click and instead of creating one object for every IP in a normal scenario with 2,500 IPs and networks, this is saving us tons of time. So now we are protecting our servers from online attacks using this text-based thread feed blacklist. We can also reverse the operation and prevent any of our clients to connect back to those IPs. We have an internet access policy that allow all our traffic to the internet with no exception. 
We can also use the same thread feed as a destination from those clients to prevent them from getting to those IPs. Before we add this second policy, let's choose any IP address from this list. For example, let's choose this IP address and I'm gonna run a continuous ping to this IP address so I can know if this policy had prevented me from accessing this IP address on the internet, the same it's gonna block it for incoming traffic. So we're gonna create our policy now. This time I'm gonna call my policy deny clients access to thread feed. And for the incoming traffic, this will be all the clients I have in the network. So I have multiple networks on different ports. I'm gonna add all of them. And for the outgoing interface, I'm gonna choose my WAN traffic. For the source, I need to prevent all these internal clients so I can choose the individual address object that belong to every network. And for the destination, I'm gonna choose the same blacklist for DMZ, which is the thread feed, the IBV4 version. And for the service, I'm gonna deny all services. We can also log this traffic and hit OK. And now our second policy is created as well. Now we have to do the same process and reorder it above the allow rule so that it will take effect. So I'm gonna move it above my allow rule. I'm gonna monitor my ping as I move this policy above my allow rule. And suddenly my ping stopped working because now I'm blocking my PC against this thread feed along with the other internal clients. And you notice with the 2,500 plus IPs in this list, the firewall bars and goes through the list very quickly without any issue. And this is the power of using 40 gate thread feeds. Thank you for watching.